I've read plenty of things that say it's not okay to be gay. The Bible says this, that, and the other thing, and the only choice you have is to try and change yourself into some sort of heterosexual lifestyle or to be celibate and alone. Telling my parents and my siblings that I was gonna be dating guys for the first time in my life, I was stepping out from underneath my parents' and family's blessing. My oldest brother, Jeff, is an Adventist minister. The Bible says these are the things God says not to do. I mean, homosexuality comes up pretty clearly in those. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. The true joy of this Advent message is that it is open to everyone. We are all part of one family. It's not for me. It's not for people like me, really. Everybody knew why I was leaving the church. That's the gay guy who used to be a pastor and it's not anymore because of that. Some people have asked me, You are gay, your church doesn't accept you, I cannot understand why you don't go to another church. That is something very unique about being an Adventist. It's like being a Jew. It's there, it's who you are. People are kicking us out of the church all the time and you are saying, no, we are not going anywhere, I don't care what you say. We fight, we pay a very high price to stay, to keep our faith together. More than anything, I want my girls to have the community and the secure, grounded belief system that I grew up with. But the whole thing was Sabbath school for our daughter, sermons to feed our soul, and just sit in the pew, and as long as nobody's actively attacking us, we're just okay being here. People want to keep the church pure. They want the church to be pure. We thank you, dear God, very much for the week you have given us. Pray that you do. David is goes to school and goes to work. <laughs> Pablo Neruda said that you can pick all the flowers, but you cannot stop the spring. <laughs>